Peter, after our session with a lot of young people in there, what would a young council leader of the future, what do you think they should look like? First of all, should be uh, proud of themselves because working in housing is a, a great thing to do for a living. Second, they should look to learn from whoever they can, but often not look upwards at more senior people, look outwards to their peers, people they're working for and with, to just gain every bit of experience and insight they can. But look, thirdly, to believe in themselves. So they've all got their own personality and way of being. So to develop and articulate that uh, as, as a leader in housing would be an excellent thing to do. And what about for you? Who are some sort of, who are great leaders as far as your experience has been? I've always been impressed with people who lead teams on the front line. It's quite easy, relatively, to lead a team from a boardroom or in a big organisation. But when you've got a team of people dealing with all the knocks and bruises that the real world brings, day after day, shift work, that kind of thing, those are the people you draw real inspiration from. And essentially, they're all the same. Although they're all shapes and different sizes, actually, they've all got this belief in themselves, they get on well with other people, they're committed, they're engaged with others, they're interested in what they're doing, and they build a great sense of a team. And so those are the people I've been inspired by. And if a leader kept one thing in mind when delivering greatness, what would that one thing be? That we are here, she should say, we're here to enable people to take control of their own lives. That's what the purpose of housing, education, justice, medicine, all of it is about enabling people to be and remain in control of their own lives. That's the North Star. That's what you steer by.